Hey, Smoke and Dagger fans. Hey, we've got a bit of an experiment in store for you today. Is that anything to do with those porterhouses that saw in your fridge, mate? Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay. We've got some porterhouses that are marbled to the buggery, and we plan on salting them three different ways. We're going to salt one the night before, salt one four hours before the cook, and we're going to do one of those emergency last-minute salts. Salt? Sea salt, sea salt. So mate, this sounds pretty interesting. Uh, I would think with the one hour steak, we're gonna get a pretty nice crust on the outside. What are you expecting from the, the overnight and the four hour steaks? A taste is gonna be very comparable. Appearance, maybe a little bit of difference in the color, but what it comes down to for me is tenderness. So whichever one has the tenderest bite, that for me is gonna be the one salted the night before. Tenderness. Sounds good, let's get into it. Let's do it. Hot damn. <laughs> Hope you're hungry, mate, because we've got our steak ready to go. Mate, these look bloody awesome. Yeah, and remember, one of them was salted the night before, the other was salted four hours before the cook, and the third one we salted just before we chucked it on the fire, about an hour. Yeah, can find out what the difference is, if any. All right, well, let's take it away. First one, I'll go the big boy. Good crust. Mm. Moderate juice. That's no squelch. Good flavour for just salt. Mm. The next, up to you. I'll take the big boy this time. Interesting. I'd say fractionally juicier. Interesting. I was going to say slightly less tender. Okay. Okay. Off to you. I don't know about you, but I've got a clear winner in mind. Okay, so I'm going to go in order of which one I think was correct. This one was salted last night. This one was salted four hours ago. This one was salted one hour ago. Think okay. that. Okay, interesting. 
I reckon this was last night. That was four hours ago. And this was one hour ago. Number two. I think that's exactly what I said as well. <laughs> so we're in sync here. We've got a clear idea. Let's cut to the judges to see how we went. Judges, judges, judges. We've got some pretty interesting results there. For one, I'm pretty shocked by uh, which one was sold last night. Yeah, it's interesting. I guess I was judging off moisture content. I enjoyed number one the most in terms of taste. And to find out that number one was in fact only salted one hour ago, shocking, you know, all those stories about dry brining the night before. What's the point? Just gonna take up space in your fridge, there could be beer. Rather have a beer. Uh, the one on the right, so the one that was four hours ago, where I'm gonna keep my honing rod. Four hours before I do a cook, I get the salt on for overnight versus one hour before. Negligible at best. Yeah, I couldn't really taste the difference as the results speak for themselves. Well, we've got a lot of steak to get through. We're gonna leave it there and, uh... Steak, classy. You have experienced a cringe level of 100,000 So mate, we're getting dangerously close to our first major YouTube milestone, 100 subs. Pretty exciting, eh? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. And it's all thanks to you guys watching at home. So, this one's for you. Cheers.